let's use relative and absolute reference points or reference cells. In the spreadsheet, we're going to put in a data set. One, two, and four. And across the top, because we're going to be referencing rows and columns, I'll put three and five in C1 and B1. Uh, so we're going to use some absolute and relative. So let's use some relative references. Now that's, in other words, we're going to be using the dollar sign symbol. So uh, let's put in a formula here. Alpha equals. We're going to take the column A1 and we're going to multiply by 3. All right, so uh, we're going to go with uh, relative. So we're going to say option dollar sign alpha A1 times 3. And then we're going to copy and paste that. So uh, I'll show you how quick that is. We go option, we come down, copy and paste is number 2, or cut and paste. We're going to copy and paste that one. We'll paste it there, and we'll paste it underneath. And you notice that uh, since it's relative, it will go ahead and do what we need it to do. Now we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to go in the other direction. We want to go relative rows. So relative rows, we're going to move the dollar sign over. So we're just going to go ahead and edit that cell. So we just go ahead and edit the cell. We're going to come over here. We'll delete the dollar sign from the beginning, put it in the middle to make it a relative row, but absolute column. So it's going to stay with A. So the first one should look the same. Uh, we want to go left to right now, so we're going to copy and paste, go in the other direction. So we're going to go down, copy, and we're going to paste, and we'll paste it going the other way. So again, you notice now it's uh, 1 times 3, 3 times 3, and 5 times 3. And then finally, the last one is the relative row and column. Relative row and column is only going to look at one place. So here we're just going to go alpha equals start out with a dollar sign alpha a dollar sign again that is going to grab only what is in a1 and we'll multiply that by 5 and it won't matter if we copy and paste it all we want it's going to be an absolute it's always going to look at that one so let's try that again we'll go ahead and copy it number two and we'll paste it underneath and we're going to get the exact same answer no matter which way we go and try to copy and paste. So that's some absolute and uh, relative references.